All right, welcome back. Just the Left Hand Brewing Company Peanut Butter Milk Stout, 6.2%. Uh, smells great. Tastes okay at first. I was disappointed halfway through. Gave it an 8. Um, it's like they had a GoFundMe of, of a, a set of $20,000 to make the most perfect, awesome Reese's Peanut Butter Cup in a can, and they raised 1400 bucks. So Bill did the best he could at buying the cheap knockoff peanut butter cups. Cheers. All right. So now we got the Manasa House Beer Co. Beer Company. Um, Holiday Slay is a stout, 11.8%. Um, cinnamon, vanilla, and chilies. I believe this four pack of uh, 12 ounce cans was God don't quote me $13 Jesus can ejaculated of course it's been sitting out for about 20 minutes good lord you guys are stacking them deep Don't ask me. And Vanessa House uh, said this one, and they have another uh, holiday ale in there I got to do as well. It's going to be the last of their specialty beers they're going to do for a bit. They're going to take a break and do whatever else. And uh, all of them sent me a message and said, we're doing Hexo Cooler uh, in February. They didn't tell me that. Motherfucking dream, though, right? Oh, man. Cinnamon sweet. Like cinnamon sweet bread. Damn. Like a really moist, like a butt cake. I'm not getting chilies. Mm -hmm. Before I get into this, um, you see a lot of, of beers that say chilies and habaneros and anchos and so forth. They're kind of lacking, in my opinion, on heat. Uh, it's been a bit since I've had this, so I've honestly forgot what it tastes like. Drank one, gave one away to Jesse. I got one in the fridge, one here. That's what it is. Crap. And then, uh, it, it, I mean... Maybe Prairie Bomb is probably the most hottest for having the weakest kind of heat chilies in it, anchos. So let's see how they do with this. I don't know what chilies they use. Jeez, that smells like a cinnamon sweet butt cake. Cheers. I'm getting the chili flavor. Uh, heat, no. Um, it's good. I love the thickness of it. I love the, the, the mouthfeel, the consistency. It's great. It's not overly sweet. It's pretty sticky in the lips, though, so I'm sure it does have the, uh, the sugars in it. Maybe forego the chilies next time. Um, whatever's making it so sweet. Kind of, I don't know, tone that down a little bit, maybe. Maybe do a, a lactose version of this or something. Uh, did you know the Vanessa House uh, crew have musicians in their ranks? Our brewers find quality equipment as important as quality beer. So it only made sense to work with our friends at Old Blood Noise Endeavors on this brew. They specialize in making guitars. I'm sorry. They specialize in making guitar pedals that deliver the fun, weird, and wacky effects that we love. Grab a beer, check out OBNE, and slay your next gig. I'll show you the can real quick. There you go. I like it. Um, hell, maybe do a cinnamon ginger 
vanilla. Just forgo the chilies and do some lactose in it. Maybe, this is what pissed me off. I was about to say maybe maple, but the thing is, I don't hardly ever get maple out of a beer. Um, on a side note, the next uh, Finesse House beer does have maple in it, so we'll, we'll do that uh, probably tomorrow. I don't want to get too hammered today. I still got to get a shower and have relations with the wife. I don't want to be on top and just, and it's just like, just, you know, banging with a limp spaghetti noodle. I don't know if I should put that in the video or not, but we'll see. We'll see how I feel the day when I edit it. A little spicy. And it's too coffee-like for me. Uh... And I don't know, guys. Everything is lacking. It's just overpowered by bitter coffee and dark chocolate. The cinnamon is there a little bit. Vanilla, dudes, it, it, vanilla always translates to sweet to me. It never translates to vanilla. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I mainly get vanilla when you do like um, any IPAs and sours. Not you as in you guys. I mean you as in beer. Chili's is a negative. That you could have, you could have put chilies, and I would have probably tasted. Or you could have not put chilies, and I might have tasted it at first. But no, no, it just tastes like a like a damn latte or something. I'm gonna go let the wife try this and see if she gets any of these notes. All right, I didn't tell her what it was. Didn't tell her who it was. Didn't tell her what was in it. Um. Heater, it's 18 minus, yeah, it's cold. Uh, she first smelled it and said, hmm, tasted it. Oh, I like the consistency, nice and thick. And she goes, oh, it's tinny. Tastes like metallic. What's in it? I said, well, what do you taste? It tastes like metallic coffee. Uh, I said, well, it's cinnamon, vanilla, and chilies. She goes, well, tell them they're full of shit. So, Vanessa House, I'm sorry. I didn't tell her it was Vanessa House. If I would have, she probably would have been, you know, pretty annoyed. Uh, it's not hot, not spicy, not chili flavor to her on the initial drink. To me, it was a little bit at, at first, but it might have been the whole mental thing. You know, you see the name Chili's, you taste Chili's. Uh, it's like, you know, you see those ads. There are hot, sexy singles in your area, and you see pictures. And then you click it, and then you see what's in your area, and you realize... A, they don't have teeth. False advertisement. Um, eh, but no, she, she didn't like it too much. Um, and I don't really care for it too much either. I can see what she means by metallic, but it's it, to me it tastes like excessive carbonation, even though that is not present in you know the sizzle or whatever else. I can somewhat understand cinnamon, vanilla, like I said, is just tastes like sweetness. That needs to get annexed. Chili's is a negative. Um, whatever you used in chilies, double that and use habaneros. Then we're talking. Uh, maybe do allspice. Maybe do more cinnamon. Maybe do some ginger, like I said. Uh, no vanilla, uh, milk sugars. That'd be great. Whatever, it almost has that Russian imperial kind of dry bitter that I, don't, I do not like. I hate Russian imperial stouts. And it kind of has that. With the sweetness and the, and the flimminess of it, I'm not... Six and a half. It's just, it doesn't do it for me, guys. Uh, so, I'm sorry. Love you. Hexo Cooler February. We'll be seeing you.